Let's take a look at the standard wind chill interface. Here I am on the splash page. You can see that we have welcome and a bunch of different languages over here. Your administrators might configure your wind chill instance to start on a different image. Be aware that there is a checkbox down here to avoid having the splash page come up and instead you'll start out on your home page. Let's start off in the upper left hand corner of the interface. Here it tells me who I am logged in as. Be aware that there is no logout button in Windchill. If for some reason you have more than one account, for example, if you have an account as a member or a user and an administrator account, the best thing to do in that situation is to run Windchill in different browsers. Maybe have one of your accounts in Google Chrome and the other one in Firefox, and that way you don't have to deal with trying to switch between the two. All right, now let's go over to the upper right hand corner. Here we have the basic search. First, you have a drop down list where you can control what you are searching on. Here you can see that you have choices like CAD document, change objects, regular documents, wind chill parts, and another kind of change object called a problem report. You can check the box as appropriate. One thing to be aware of, this is one pitfall that I always fall into. I will change, I might set one of the types that I want over here and that'll remain set. And then later on, I'll go to search for something. It's like, oh wait, why isn't something coming up? I know this exists in Windchill. And it turns out that it'll be of a type that I don't have checked over here. So be aware of that. So here we have our searches. You have a drop down list that allows you to see your search history and save searches and also advanced searches as well. Then we have a quick links button in the upper right hand corner. And a few things to mention here from quick links. If you go to the help, you have a flyout that'll go you go to the help center, which is the online encyclopedia of all the functions within Windchill. And that is a very valuable resource. Uh, you can take a look at some of the other different things in here, like you have the PTC Learning Connector where you can access videos about using different functionality in Creole Parametric and Windchill. But let's take a look at my settings. A couple things in here, you have access to your preferences. I'll do another video where I show you how to change your personal preferences. And another option that you have in here is the calendar. And the thing about the calendar is that you can set certain days as uh, non-working days. And then for those days, you can delegate any assignments that you get to other users. So that's a very good thing to do when you are going on vacation. Uh, let's see some next things to take a look at inside of here. If Oops, let me go to the quick links again you have something called My Notebook. And there, your notebook is essentially a set of different links or pages that you go to all the time. And so it's sort of like creating bookmarks inside of Windchill for yourself. And another very convenient control within the Quick Links menu is the ability, ability to email a page to someone. So for example, let's say that you have a coworker and you want them to take a look at a CAD document or a wind chill part or a change notice. You can just go to that page and then choose email page and choose someone from your organization that you want to have a link set, sent to. All right, next thing to take a look at, right underneath the quick links, we have the recently accessed list. So here are a bunch of different objects and folders that I have recently accessed. And what this is really convenient for is when you come in the next morning and you wanna jump back to what you were working on the day before, hey, just go to recently accessed, and that way you can jump to, oh, okay, here is an assembly that I was working on. The next thing that we will take a look at is your home page. And the home page is accessed from the home icon in the upper left hand corner of the main windchill interface. Also, if you are using the navigator, which I'll talk about in a moment, it's available from the upper right hand corner of the navigator. But let's collapse the navigator. 
Here we see that on your personal homepage, by default, there are three tables of information. There are any tasks that are assigned to you. For example, I have a task here to analyze a problem report. Another table that you'll have by default are updates, things that you have worked on. And you can control what you are viewing in this particular list. Oops, I don't have any CAD documents. Let me go back to... What view do I want? Oh, well, let me just go to parts over here. Uh, so here you have a list of the different windshield parts that I have recently worked on if I want to get back to them. And here we also have a table for checked out work. So it turns out right now I have three different objects checked out uh, that I am currently working on. You can customize what tables are displayed on your home page. If you go to the customize button over here, you can see that here we have tasks, updates, and checked out work. But let's say that you also want to see your workspaces. You can check the box. And now here I have my, diff my four different current workspaces that I have created. And you can also display things like your subscriptions. And for subscriptions, here I have a subscription to an object whereby certain events will trigger an automatic email notification to me. Make use of subscriptions. I'll do a separate video showing you how to use that. And the last part of the interface that we'll take a look at is the navigator. And the navigator is this narrow strip on the left-hand side of the screen. Here you can see where it says navigator down here. And there are two main functions in the navigator. First, we have searches. And I mentioned that in the upper right-hand corner, you have a basic search that you can perform. And that search is on the name and number of an object. But sometimes you want to create more advanced searches. And to do that, you can click on advanced search, and that'll bring up a form over here. You can type in the keyword. You can filter down the different objects that you are searching for. And I'm going to uncheck some of these over here just to show you that you have a whole lot of different attributes that you are able to search on. So for example, let's say that I know who created some certain object or I want to also filter based on an object's state. We have those different options in here. So you can specify your criteria that you want to search on. And when you create those different searches, you can save a particular search and that way you can access it over and over again. Another option that you have from the navigator is to browse. Now, the preferred method of locating information in Windchill is to search, but sometimes you don't even know enough information to create a search. And so for that reason, you can use the browse functionality. But again, search is recommended. And when I go to browse over here, it first puts you on your recently accessed list. So here are a bunch of products and libraries that I have recently visited. Here we have our recent products. And be aware the first time that you go inside of here, this will be empty because being your first time, you haven't visited anything recently. So in that case, you might want to go to view all, and that way you'll be able to see all the different products that you have access to. And in this particular case, I have four different products that I have access to. Let me bring the navigator back out. Besides products, you also have libraries. And the difference between a product and a library is that typically you will use libraries to store any objects that you are going to reuse over and over again on different product lines. And typically these are things like maybe commercial off-the-shelf components like fasteners and connectors. And they're also going to be different parts that you generate 
within your company that you want to use over and over again on different product lines. And you can move objects back and forth between products and libraries. And here I have access to two different libraries. Again, the first time that you go in here, you won't have anything listed because you haven't been to anything recently. So the first thing that you should go to is view all so that you can see the different libraries that you have in here. Let me go back to the navigator. When you're accessing your properties and, uh, excuse me, your products and libraries, you'll notice that the different products and libraries are going to have different boxes, excuse me, plus signs next to them, junction boxes that you can expand. And here I can see that, oh, I can go to the details of the product, which basically tells you information about when it was created. If you use options and variance functionality, you'll use the option pool and option sets buttons a lot. Uh, but some other different important ones in here, folders is probably the one that you will use most often. So folders will allow you to see the different folders that are available and you can click on the folders and see the contents of the folders inside of there. And that's another way of accessing content within Windchill. Let me go back over here. Another common choice is that you can go to the team to see who's assigned to this product and what roles that they are assigned to. And also you have some reports inside of here. Some other options that you have from browse, you can see recent changes. And so that way you can say, hey, what are different change requests, change notices, or uh, variances that are currently open and you have a number of different reports that are available to you that you can access as well and typically those are the ones that you'll have access to if you have administrator privileges you might have some other different choices in here as uh, such as the ability to access the organizations within your windchill instance or the site within the windchill instance but that, in a nutshell, is the basic windchill interface. Again, the big important things, hey, the basic search in the upper right-hand corner, your quick links, your recently accessed, and the navigator over on the left-hand side of the screen, as well as your personal homepage. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.